Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today, let's look at a few different ways we can move the start of a song. So recently I showed the options for inserting and deleting time, and that's a good way of doing this. So if I wanted to insert 10 bars at the beginning of this project, I can make a time selection, insert empty space in selection, and there we go. The problem here is that it's inserted a tempo marker that is not the same as the rest of the song. So this project is 74 beats per minute at 6.8. Because I've inserted time here, it's put it in at 1.20 and 4.4. Before we change the project start time this way, we need to actually go into project settings and set this to the, the same as the start of our project. So 74, 6, and 8. So we'll do that. I insert 10 bars. Now, if we're overdubbing something into this, it's a nice long lead up and we can start right at the beginning. So right here is the start of the song. It's the first note of the guitars and it's at bar 11. If we actually want this to be bar one, go into the project settings again and we set 00, zero to edit cursor. Okay, click that and then okay. And as you can see here, it's counting backwards from this cursor position in the time ruler. So this bar where the song starts is still at bar 11. If we wanted this to say one, then we go into project settings and we set this to would be minus nine because we've added in 10 bars. And there, bar one is right here, bar zero is here and it goes in reverse order down this way. So that's how I like to do it. You could also do it another way, back to how we started. You could also put on ripple editing for all tracks, and we can do this with or without the tempo map. So let's do it with first. So before we go and move all this stuff, we need to check that our project BPM and time signature is the same as the actual project. So 74, 6, 8. This is the same as before. Click OK, and we can drag this over to the desired start time. And once again, we'll click at bar 11. We'll set 0 to be where our edit cursor is, and we'll have minus 9 be the start of the uh, project. So a different way of doing it. There's one last option. If we uncheck ripple edit all effects tempo map, then we don't really need to worry about moving things unless there are tempo changes later on in the project. We can drag this and this tempo marker doesn't change. It is very important that if you have tempo changes later on in the song that you're using this other option, ripple edit all effects tempo map. And it's really just the start of the song where you have to do that extra step of setting your project BPM here. All right, guys, there's a couple different ways of moving your project start time and making it all nice and organized for you. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the website with a donation through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.